In Tokyo Metro, you are a Japanese investor, speculator, station builder, stockholder, and bicyclist. The goal of the game is to plan the most efficient income system through the use of action placement disks and station development. The map is based on the real world metro system in Tokyo, giving an educational insight into the Tokyo area with a heavy Euro style economic twist. Setup Place the map and train line income track in the center of the play area. Following the order on the train line income track, starting with the G line, place the train markers and stock cards in order below the map. Stack the stock cards in ascending order with the one stock on top followed by the two and the three underneath. Divide the 54 action cards into six stacks sorted by color. Shuffle all three dots of the same stack together. Repeat for the two dots and the one dots. Stack each pile with the three dots on the bottom, two dots in the middle and one dots on top. Draw cards from each stack equal to the number of players. Place them in a column below the stack. Give each player 2000 yen, 3 player discs, 6 pyramids and a meeple. Place 2 player discs next to the income track and one next to the turn order track, leaving the other 3 in the supply. Set the train income arrow markers, remaining yen and token discs in the supply. Phases of play. Each round, play progresses through the following phases until there are no new action cards to draw during the action card refresh phase. Then the game ends immediately. Action card refresh phase. Turn order phase. Movement phase. Action phase. Train phase. Action card refresh phase. One card from the bottom of each action card column is turned sideways and moved into its column's discard pile. Active cards shift down one space and a new card from each draw pile is placed into the empty space in its column. Skip this phase during the first round. Turn order phase. Each player secretly decides the amount of yen they wish to bid, placing it in a closed fist. When all players are ready, reveal bids simultaneously. All bids are paid to the bank. The highest bidder moves to first in turn order on the left of the track, followed by the second highest, etc. In case of a tie, players switch positions from their previous standing. Movement phase. Players move their meeples up to two spaces on the map, or three with a bicycle, utilizing the grey background grid. On the first turn of the game, players place their player tokens one by one onto any spot on the map in turn order. Action phase. In turn order, players select one empty spot on an action card and assign the required discs to perform the action. At the beginning of the game, each player has three action discs to use. Cards with multiple actions may be used by multiple players or the same player on a future turn. Action spots with multiple circles require multiple discs to be placed all at once to use that action. After a player performs an action, proceed to the next player in turn order. At the end of the action phase, return all discs from action cards to players. Here's an overview of all the actions available in the game. Move. Immediately move your meeple up to the number of spaces indicated by the action spot, plus one if you have a bicycle. Station. Pay yen to the bank indicated by the cost on the action space. Then place a station pyramid on a station your meeple is touching. If you build a station at a multi-circle station, connected with a grey outline, multiply the cost to build the station by the total number of station circles. Only one station pyramid may be placed in any multi-circle station area or single circle station. Invest. Pay the amount shown on the action spot to the bank. Take the top stock in any train line and increase the corresponding train's value on the income track. To purchase the second or third stock of a train line, 
you must pay 300 or 600 yen extra, which cannot be discounted. A maximum of one stock per line per player. If not already running, place the train marker on its starting station, indicated by its one station. You are not allowed to buy stock in a train line you have speculated on. Start! Choose a train line not already running and increase its income by the amount shown on the action card. Place its marker on its one station to run one complete round trip to its highest numbered station and back during the train phase. This action is free. Speed. Take the number of speed tokens shown. Speed tokens may be assigned on your turn before taking an action to any train line with an available slot. Speed tokens make a train move plus one space per token during every train movement phase. Bike. Take a single bicycle token. Players may only hold one bicycle at a time. You now move up to plus one space when moving your meeple. Trade in. You may trade in either a bicycle or speed token to build a station for free. Multi-circle stations are also eligible for free building. Meeple adjacency rules still apply. Discount. Place an action disc on the discount spot. After choosing an action on a future turn, remove your action disc from the discount space and place it on top of the newly chosen action space. You receive the discount to your current action. You may activate multiple discounts at once. Bidding. Increase your bid for turn order next round by the amount listed. When taking this action, place yen from the bank equal to the amount listed next to your turn order disc to signify your bidding bonus next round. Loan. To take out a loan, take a loan marker and 1000 yen from the bank. A loan may later be paid back without interest by using the loan up arrow action. However, if a loan is not paid back by game end, it will cost 1500 yen to pay it off. There are 8 total loans available and players are not limited to any number of loans during the game. Speculate. Take one of your two available speculation discs next to the income track and place it onto an available spot for the train line you wish to speculate on. The train line must have an income marker on the track. Displayed next to the train line marker are two numbers in a fraction. The right hand amount is the minimum amount you must commit to speculate. You can always commit more. Place the money next to your speculation disc. You are not allowed to speculate on a train line you currently own any stock in. Action! Pay the amount shown to the bank. Then, take one of your action discs from the supply, which may be used this round. A max of six action discs can be owned per player. Card! Pay the amount shown to the bank. Then, take any one face-up action card from a discard pile and add it to your player area. It is immediately available for use. For the remainder of the game, only you may use this action card. Note that only the top card of a discard pile may be acquired and there is no limit to the number that may be gained throughout the game. You may also pass before you use all of your available action discs. When passing, take a payout of 100 yen from the bank for each unused action disc. Train phase. During the train phase, all active trains move 5 spaces or more with the speed tokens, advancing to the next highest like-colored station on the map. If they pass into or through player-owned stations, payouts occur. It is also possible to board or exit a train during this phase. Trains move in order beginning with a G line. The order is displayed on the train line income track. Trains not running will not move. If any players own stock in a train line, it will continue running for the rest of the game, turning around as it hits the end of its route. If your meeple is touching a station that a train is at or passing through, you may board the train. You may later get off at any station the train touches. Station payouts. As soon as a train reaches a station pyramid marker, a payout is triggered. There are two possible outcomes, based on if the owner of the station owns stock in the train line. No stock owned. The player who owns the station receives 200 yen from the bank. Also, increase the train line's income by 200 yen on the income track. Station and stock owned. Increase the train line's income by 500 yen on the income track. 
the player receives nothing. Game end. During the action card refresh phase, if there are no more action cards to draw, the game ends immediately. End game scoring. After game end is triggered, payouts commence by first paying all speculations and then paying stockholders based on each train line's income track score, starting with a Ginza line and moving down. Loans must be paid back with 500 yen interest. Speculation payouts. Speculations are paid out to players before stock owners get paid. To determine how much the train line pays out for speculations, look at the right hand fraction of the train's ending income. The player who speculated on that train line receives the amount listed. However, a player may only receive up to two times the amount initially speculated. In addition, return the initial speculation amount to the player. If two players speculated on the same train line, they are both paid the amount they are owed. After payouts, decrease the train line's income by the amount of the speculation payout. It is important to remember that a player who speculates on a line may not own stock in it. If this rule is broken, their speculation and stock are worth 0 yen. Stock payouts. Stocks are paid out using the train line income track for each line, one by one, beginning with the G line. If only one player owns stock in a train line, they receive the full amount from that line's income. If two players own stock, the first stock is paid roughly 200 to every 100 yen the second stock owner receives. Use the two fraction amounts to the left of the income line for the first and second payouts. If three stocks are owned, the first stock owner receives 50% of the income rounded up to the nearest 100 yen. Decrease the income marker by the amount paid. Then the remaining amount is split between the second and third stock owners by using the reference chart to the left of the income track. Add up totals. Players now add up their total yen, and the player with the most is declared the winner. If there is a tie, the player furthest to the left on the turn order track breaks the tie. Tokyo Metro ni norimashou.